is the sound of no music playing? It's the echoes in the concert halls and summer festival stages since COVID-19 hit. During this pandemic, virtually no musicians have played out in public, in large venues or small clubs, before thousands or just a few fans. And Akron musician Theron Brown is no exception. It's been more than 100 days since he played a gig, the longest it's been between performances since 2006. So when we asked him if he wanted to set up here in downtown Kent and let his music fill the air, he said yes, absolutely. Yeah, it was a trickle effect that the gigs began to diminish. Uh, we started very slowly where we see gigs that are in our near future were starting to go away. I was like, okay. And then it went to a, a bigger regional thing. Okay, this whole uh, event isn't happening. And then I found that it's gone to a national thing where I've had things uh, canceled that were heading into even 2021. We'll say there, there's a, a bit of a type of depression that goes along with it. Uh, I'm used to playing out, yes, for people, but also it's a way that I hang out with my some of my best friends. We share the stage together, we hang out off the stage together, and to not be able to have any of that, yeah, after a few weeks, that'll that'll shake you up a bit. You know, I think that's just the thing though. We have this, this magical platform called social media that we can stay in touch with people just with a couple clicks of the button. So feelings about playing right now at this time is very mixed. You know, first of all, I feel unpracticed. It's interesting because I'm not, I always wondered what it would be like how I would play in front of a crowd when I do get back to it. And at this instance, there isn't a, a big crowd, but we've seen some people come by and I'm not gonna lie there's a, a different kind of nervousness that's there kind of an unsettling feeling there's also a, a huge joy and a release you know that I'm, I'm experiencing right now you know dealing with COVID and then you know also Black Lives Matter this this brings up you know something a spirit within that I, I always search for when I play music
you know, that's how I feel right now artistically is I'm just trying to write and play from a place that's just current. It's happening right now, this is what I'm feeling, and not hide it. And that's what my next album is actually about. Uh, I've been writing this, these, I've been stuck on the, this album for about four or five years, and it's going to be called Spirit Fruit. It's taken from Galatians, a part of the Bible, and it's just all the, a list of very good things that humans have to get us through such as love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. And at the end of it, it says, against such there is no law. That's the most powerful part. You can have all these things, and if you have those first, then we can move forward. Theron Brown is a prime example of the fact that music will never be defeated, not by COVID or intolerance or any other human foolishness. Because music, the kind that Theron Brown plays from a place of truth, is stronger more lasting, and based on love. Until next time, stay healthy and stay connected. <laughs>